Hi everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, let's see uh, why multiple inheritance is not allowed in uh, programming languages like uh, Java and uh, Swift. And uh, it's because of the diamond problem. And what is the diamond problem? Let's see in this tutorial. So let's take a couple of classes. Let's say I'm taking a class called Lead. Usually in software uh, world, a lead could be a team lead or a project lead whose uh, uh, primary responsibility is to train their team. Uh, it's having a method called train team. And let's say I'm having a, so this being the base class, I'm, ha I'm taking the team lead. Uh, team lead also is have overriding training team. Why? Because he trains uh, team in a different way. Uh, same like I have a project lead so it is also uh, extending from lead uh, base class so project lead also will be having different training sessions for the team so what if I have a delivery lead uh, which is also from which has both the responsibility of a team lead and the project lead for example if I try to give uh, like we do it for protocols if I try to extend it for uh, team lead and project lead uh, Swift uh, gives a compiler error saying that multiple inheritance from classes team lead and project lead so multiple that, that uh, so multiple inheritance it's clearly from this compiler error multiple inheritance is not allowed in Swift programming language the reason being the diamond problem which is like if del if uh, if, if if one class is extending from these two classes what if on a delivery lead uh, if I create an instance and try to call the train team whether this one has to be executed or this one has to be executed or this one has to be executed so that is where the diamond problem comes usually when uh, when I have a class A uh, let's say when uh, when I have a class A and uh, I have a class A sorry uh, and uh, there is another class class B let's suppose class B extending from class A and there is, there is also an another class class C which is also extending from class A and there is one more class class D which is extending from both class B which needs to have both the uh, features of class B and uh, class C so in this case what happens if if we call uh, if, if class B and class C is overriding a method in class A from class D if I if I if I call the method uh, let's say some test method if I if I call the method then it will be like ambiguous whether it, it has to be from class the method uh, has to be from class C or class B so this is the this is the time this is the diamond problem B and C extending from a D is extending from both B and C if we form this it will uh, it will be it, it, it will be like a it will it will be like a uh, uh, like like a diamond uh, it forms a diamond where a, a being at the top B and C in the middle and D at the bottom so this uh, here class A is nothing but lead B and C are nothing but team lead and project lead uh, where uh, class A class B is extending A uh, uh, class C is extending A and uh, there is there is class uh, D which is extending class B and C so as there will be ambiguous uh, if we if we uh, allow multiple inheritance if it doesn't allow multiple inheritance so this we call it as the diamond problem that's the reason in programming languages like java and uh, swift multiple inheritance is not allowed because of this reason having said that uh, there is a way where we can achieve this function uh, achieve this if we need to have multiple features from different different uh, uh, classes or entities so instead of this uh, instead of this what we can do is we can go with the we can go with the instead of this classes approach uh, we can go with the protocol approach where uh, i define uh, uh, let's say i define lead protocol train team and 
I define protocol project project lead which extends from lead or or let's say let's say team lead let's say it, it extends from lead and team lead also does something like he has to program he has to do the programming also programming also but this is the protocol now uh, I, I I want to take uh, I'm, I have a project lead stuff which <coughs> uh, <coughs> pro, uh, for example let's say uh, I, I want to take project <coughs> project lead which uh, uh, which should have both uh, training the team and programming uh, project lead also does programming so I can say like lead uh, uh, comma uh, team lead and uh, his extra work is uh, reviews employee reviews so this is already taken care so why because team lead is already extending to lead so this is the protocol approach for example let's say uh, I have an uh, I have a manager let's say so usually uh, manager should train the team uh, instead of creating the models classes and all and uh, uh, getting this multiple inheritance problem I can uh, segregate these into features which using the protocols in Swift language for example I have a manager class now the manager should have lead lead capabilities team lead capabilities like uh, sometimes managers has to do the programming also if, if they are technical managers uh, or the, le, let's say he's a project pro, project lead assuming he is project manager not a technical manager right the same way uh, for example if uh, it's a technical manager technical managers to program along with uh, they train the team uh, they do the reviews and uh, sometimes they do uh, lead is as project lead is already having it we don't need it so it should have all the project lead why because project lead is ha already having team lead related stuff and lead related stuff so technical manager also should be should extend it to project lead like this we can do or if we want to have the separate uh, uh, separate stuff what we can do is for example instead of extending this we can separate entity list programmer uh, reviewer who does the reviews and programmer does the programming and uh, trainer does training team so these are all separate uh, entities for example if I if I come to project manager project manager usually doesn't train the team uh, no programming but usually project manager does the uh, reviews basically so from the reviewer and maybe sometimes he needs to train uh, train the team as well so I can extend this one and this one also so if it is a project manager he has to train the team and he has to confirm to this protocol as well and uh, usually technical uh, uh, technical manager they train uh, sometimes they need to program also uh, and reviews usually technical managers don't do the reviews so in this way we can achieve the uh, multiple in inheritance in the swift programming language instead of going for the base uh, uh, base base classes th this structure which will end up uh, with this diamond problem we can go with the protocol oriented approach which is very powerful uh, uh, in swift programming language you segregate what are all the functions and then you create the models and extend to so and so so then it's very easy to for example let's say uh, let's say uh, director level uh, director level uh, director level usually what they do so these are all the things we have usually directors also they do the reviews uh, they usually don't uh, 
program they don't run so there is no need to extend this in this way whatever is needed uh, using the protocols uh, we can create the we can create them or we can create the models so this is the beauty of the pro this is the beauty of the pro, uh, protocol oriented approach these errors are because i need to confirm to these protocols so that's why it's a, it's a saying so i need to add these stuffs basically okay now uh, uh, the diamond problem comes sometimes in uh, uh, protocol oriented approach also so uh, generally uh, for example uh, let's say let me ext extend this and write the default extension trainer uh, let me define this method so this is there in now so this is what the uh, trainer or let's take a generic example where uh, protocol 1 let's say uh, protocol 1 let's say it is having a test method uh, it is from protocol 1 the same way for example if we have a second proto second protocol uh, protocol second and let's say it is also having the same uh, uh, test method now for example i have uh, i have a class uh, called uh, uh, my class which extends from both the protocols now there is an ambig there is an ambiguity why because here we are already declaring the function uh, this protocol already declared uh, it's defined and declared a uh, uh, it, it's defined and declared a function and this also defined and declared the function both are having the both are having the same same method just in case call test method so it is having this definition this is having this definition but but a class is uh, conforming to both the protocols so in this case if we run and see we see the same diamond problem let me run and see type my class does not conform to the protocol one and type my class does not conform to protocol second now this is the this is also an ambiguity why because one is defined it two also defined a method now if i take an instance of a class and if i call and uh, if i and if i call a test method now there is an ambiguity whether to call from this protocol or from this protocol why because they uh, they implemented it if they if they have not implemented it then i don't think there, uh, there uh, i don't think there will be any issues if i run it why because though though both are having the uh, both are having the same methods test and test if they don't uh, define these there there won't be any issues whatever we define here that will get executed see now there is no error but as these have defined this and if they are having the same method though we try to implement it here for example if they have defined it then there is a problem why because if i create this it doesn't know if i create an instance and call it doesn't know whether to call it this protocol method or this protocol method to, to solve this what we can do is if they are having both the same methods then it should have its own the same method then we can get rid of this compiler error and 
when we try to create an instance and call the test method uh, this particular class it will not uh, execute this or this it will execute this and if we don't have this and if for example second one is not implementing it and if only first one is implementing it then only there won't be any ambiguity why because it's not defined it so if we call the test only the first one will get executed the problem comes only when both have implemented the method and this is confirmed this has to this class has to confirm to both the protocols so this is the diamond problem that happens with the with the uh, uh, that happens and because of this multiple inheritance is not possible and which can be achieved using protocols protocols easily as I showed but in protocols also sometimes this problem may arise if uh, both the protocols are having the same uh, method and if a class if a model is conforming to both the protocols then it has to implement it soon otherwise it will end up with uh, the same diamond problem like it has to uh, conform to both the protocols and I hope this post is useful. Thank you.